Well, hello there, everybody. Funshine X here. It's been a long time, but I'm back, and Minecraft's back with a new version, 162. And with a new version, it's got a new launcher. Pretty cool. Uh, but how to use this new launcher with Forge and mods and all that kind of stuff? Well, I'm going to show you how. Okay, guys. And uh, after doing this, I'll be able to upgrade all of my computer craft tutorial videos to 1.6, redo them all so that they're current, they're accurate, and you guys don't have to. Um, keep messaging me going, why does this not work? Well, it's because it was for 1.2.5, guys. It was a long time ago. So you can assume things don't work the same way they used to. And that's the case. So we're going to get on to, into that. But first, we need to know how to use this launcher. The reason being is MultiMC, as, as of the time of making this video, is not compatible with 1.6 and Feed the Beast launcher as well. So we're kind of stuck using this launcher whether we want to or not. And it's it's got some good features, so I'm not too upset. But I'm going to go ahead and close it down. First thing you want to do is go to minecraft.net, log in, and click download. That's going to give you this single minecraft.exe, and you just put it anywhere on your system and go ahead and run it. It's going to load up. The first time you load it, it's going to ask for your username and password after then, and it'll save it like it's done for me. It says, hello, we're well, welcome, you're ready to play. Okay, let's play. <laughs> click on it. What it's doing now is downloading all the Minecraft files from the web there and installing it and do all this crazy stuff we'll just let it run shouldn't take too long there we go all right minecraft 162 it's ready this vanilla quit it <laughs> we're not gonna play vanilla okay what do we do next well go ahead and launch the launcher again <laughs> and you can see it created that that default pro profile for us and it's just called your username uh, the reason this profile exists is so that if you are playing, your brother's playing, your sister's playing, your dad's playing, your grandma's playing, whatever, everybody can have their own pro profile, and it'll save their own login with their own username and their own uh, saved worlds, their own mods, whatever they play with, so you're not stepping on each other's feet. But we can take advantage of that and have a Minecraft vanilla profile and also have a modded profile. So that's what we're going to do first. Okay, so take this profile, and I'm going to call it my username because I'm the only one on the machine that plays. So I'm just going to call this 1.6.2 Vanilla. Not chocolate, not caramel, not anything vanilla. Okay. Game directory. Uh, my C drive is not big enough to run Minecraft and a ton of mods and everything like that. And I don't like things on my Windows partition. So, boop, gone. I put them over here. I've created this folder called Launcher. Oops, get rid of that guy. You guys did see that. Okay. There we go. Launcher 1.6.2 Vanilla. Easy. All right. Uh, do we want to use snapshots? You can if you want. I'm just going to use the latest version, which right now is 1.6.2. Resolution, you can leave the default or put it whatever you want to play at. Uh, I don't really care for Mahjong to help me fixing crashes. Uh, what happens? Do you want the launcher visible when it runs? Uh, I'd like it hidden and just reopen when I'm done playing. Are they executable? Um, you could probably leave this default. I don't like that one. I've got JDK because I do Java development and everything, so I'd just rather use the JDK. It seems to be more stable for some reason. I don't know. And the JVM arguments uh, to keep Minecraft stable on my system and let it run faster with some more memory, those are the ones I use. Go ahead and pause it, and you can use those if you want, or use the default. Uh, like that's, that's something for the forums if you guys want to know what those parameters mean or if you're having crashes in Minecraft. Okay, save the profile. That's our 162 vanilla profile. If we click play, it's going to go ahead and create that folder there. I don't know if you saw it for just a split second, but yeah, there it is. 162 vanilla, and you see it's got the resources packs, which replaces the texture packs, the saves folder where all your maps go, that kind of stuff. Okay, cool. 162 vanilla is gone. Okay. Next, what do we want to do? Well, we want to install Forge. So I'm going to go ahead and close the launcher. And I'm going to go out to minecraftforge.net. And once you get the forums there, you're going to click, uh, I believe it's called releases. And after you get to releases, you're going to click on the latest version for whatever Minecraft version you're installing. Right now it's 1.6.2. If you're watching this in a month, two months, three months, whatever, it's going to be 1.6.3. I don't know. Uh, just get the latest version, latest stable version. And you want to download the installer. Minecraft Forge now has an installer. Okay. Uh, it comes in the form of a jar file. Some computers don't work like to run jar files very well. I don't know when you, when you click them. Mine just happened to work fine. 
If yours doesn't do this, then you might want to go in the forums or forge and then ask why. And it's going to say, do you want to install the client or server? Extract the, the jar. Ah, I'm just going to install the client. And it's going to, it knows where to put it. So go ahead and say, okay. It'll tell you, you've got forge 910. Perfect. That's what I want. Next, what do I do? Well, let's go back to the launcher. And you can see our profile has now been added a forge profile. And when I switch to it, it's going to say, are you sure you want to log in as the same user? And I get, yes, I am. So hit the play button. <laughs> okay. And then hit edit. So I don't want to use, I don't want to call it forge. I want to call it 1.6.2 modded. Awesome. Uh, the game directory, same as before. If I can find it, launcher, perfect. Go away, you. I do not like the dots. Dot Minecraft folder, uh, launcher 1.6.2 modded. There we go. And look, we've got a new version here. So instead of using the latest version like we did in our vanilla instance, we now pick the Forge version. Pretty cool. 1280, 720 is what I record at. So that's what I put in there. Again, hide it, executable, blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah. Let me do that real quick. Okay. Now, save that and go ahead and hit play on that profile. And it's going to do a bunch of downloading again. Uh, well, it shouldn't take too long. Come on. You can do it, Forge. There we go. Launch in Minecraft splash screen. Woohoo! It worked. Thank you, Mojang. Thank you, Forge. Look, we've got three mods loaded. That would be MCP, FML, and Forge. You can verify that here. And there's all the versions that are using I'm using. And we'll go ahead and quit out of it again. What's left, guys? Well, we've got a vanilla instance. If we ever want to play Minecraft vanilla or put in, you know, like a, a super hostile type map, we can put it in that instance. And if we ever want to play a Forge, you know, modded Minecraft, we just switch to 162 modded. We can play both. Awesome. Just like Bolt AMC, that kind of stuff but all right here in a little drop down. What's left? Well, go out to the 162 modded folder and look at that and you'll see we've got additional two folders, one for config, one for mods. Core mods, gone, don't need it anymore. They just go right in the mods folder, so don't have to worry about that. Uh, if you do have a mod and you go to the install instructions and it says, open up the minecraft.jar and put the files in the jar, ain't gonna work. <laughs> Uh, Forge has said, nope, we're completely not, you know, before they said, it's probably not going to work, we're not going to support it, but now they said, definitely, we're not going to support it. If you can get it to work, great, but don't come bothering us. So, uh, things like TerraFirmacraft, unless they've changed recently, I haven't checked if there's a 1.6 version of TerraFirmacraft, but that was one that had to go in the jar. Uh, I think there's, there's quite other few mods that need to go in the jar. Try not to use those. They're not Forge anyway, right? So, put your mods in here. I've got a mod that we can use. Where did I put it? I think it was in... Uh, nope, 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 not that one. Launcher, mod files. Oh no, where's my computer craft? Here, one second, I'm going to download it real quick. All right, I'm back. Went out to the forums, got computer craft 1.5.5, which is 162 uh, compatible. Go ahead and hit copy. Put them in the modded, mods, paste. That's all you have to do, guys, so easy. We now have 162 with ComputerCraft, which is all we need to start playing ComputerCraft and update my tutorials and follow along. Everything's gonna be paste binned. Everything's gonna be easy to follow. It's not gonna be dry and this is how you do computer crap. No, we're gonna have a lot of fun and we're gonna enjoy it. If you guys have things you that my old tutorials didn't cover and you're like, ah, racking my brain, I don't know how to do this. Um, please post in the comments and say, you know, Funshine, this is what I want to learn in computer craft. I've looked and looked and looked and you teach me so much better than everyone else. So I really want you to make a tutorial on this part of computer craft. That's what I want to know, guys. Uh, especially the, the, the Funshine X is the best computer craft tutorial maker in, in, the, in the world, right? I want to hear that. <laughs> and it's true, right? I know you guys all come to me. You want to learn how to play computer craft. Oh, it's such a great mod. I'm so glad that you guys are my subscribers. I'm blown away by the number I have. Blown away by the fun and the enjoyment that you guys have with computer craft. 
uh, and your willingness to learn and to enjoy it, it's it can sometimes be seen as work, right? You got to code and you got to do all this stuff just to make it output a redstone signal. It's hard, but as you learn it, you're learning coding, you're learning, you know, cool stuff that are going to help you in, in later in life as well, right? Maybe not. <laughs> but anyway, guys, this has been Fun Shine X. We're going to start playing Computer Craft at 1.6, and that's a promise. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.